Hello students, this is video clip I will help you uh, how to measure the beta and how to measure the web and how to collect the, uh, the stock prices of the publicly traded company and also how to collect the financial statements from the SEC and will help you to calculate this cost of equity and weighted average cost of capital. Okay, first of all, we need to go to the part one is the part one the stock price collections so go to the yahoo finance yahoo finance and apple and historical data and here we have the five years stock prices and the monthly basis so we'll collect the 16 month the information and download the stock price and Apple here date you see here now from the March 1st 2019 to 2024 the February 1st please ignore the last one because the last one is not the uh, the monthly data so copy and paste here Oops, what is this Again, copy and paste here. Now we have this 16 monthly, uh, the dates and Apple stock go to the adjusting closing price. Again, we have to collect until, right, the favorite first and paste here. Apple right and then go to the the market information the market so now I'm going to use a spy which is the SPDR S&P 500 ETF which is the market index and go to the historical data and five years also the same monthly prices of this index and download and go to the Excel we download here you must compare if the date are matched the date are matched to the Apple right so we match the date exactly the same now you collect this adjusted closing price of this SPDR S&P 500 Right. So again, the ignore the last date. Once you copy it and paste it on here, as in five hundred. Then here monthly rate of the last month divided by the prior month. Right. The recent months and the divided by the last month minus one. So we have now monthly rate of return. Double click. And we have all the monthly rate of return. Again, the same. We calculate the monthly rate of return of Apple and double click. So we collect all, right? Then here, let's go to the capital model. So we practice this how to calculate the beta during the class using the slope, slope function, and open the parentheses. Y axis always the company, right? Y axis, comma, and X axis when the market changes, what happened to the stock, right? And we found 1.27 is the beta, right? Treasury bill you can find from research here, uh, average treasury bill history, and I found here. Uh, 5.23 is the three months treasury bill rate, so 5.3 percent. And the RM S&P 500 historical rate of return. You can also research average S&P 500 historical rate of return. So you research 10.04. So 10.04. So we know how to calculate this market risk premium the difference between the market rate and the risk-free rate once you get the beta then 
you multiply this. Then the required rate of return is the sum of, again, the risk-free rate and equity risk premium. This required rate is the cost of debt, right? Or cost of, sorry, the cost of comma stock. Cost of comma stock. We are going to use this to calculate weighted average cost of capital. Okay, the stock price per share as of today, uh, come back to Apple, is 185, so 185. And then shares outstanding and there's some other information we need to collect the financial statement here and here, right? So now let's go to the company investor relations. So here, Apple investor relations, go to the SEC filings. And here we have the annual filings. And the recent year is the 2023. Go to the Excel. Do you see this Excel? And Excel and the desktop somewhere. And then you download this. 10K, the Excel report. So here, when you go to the Excel, now here, do you see the income statement? The first page, income statement. Now you see here, right? The income statement for two years from September. Now the copy and paste only until the net income, right? That's what we need. And here, copy and paste. You can also down uh, the copy and paste from type table of contents and the balance sheet. And then you can copy and paste of this balance sheet account. Then we finish this setup. Now, number of outstanding, you can find here, number of outstanding, 15,943, right? This is the thousand dimension, thousand. Do you see here, thousand? Uh, it's set for, okay, this is a thousand. For the thousand here, reflect the thousand, shares is thousand, but we want to express it in the million. So here, 15,943. So I'm going to type 15,943. Then I'm going to use cost of debt for the recent notes from the 10K. Again, what is the 10K? How to download 10K here? Now this PDF version. In the PDF version, do you see the recent long term? is 3.6 the highest one based on the conservatism i decide to choose this 3.6 so 3.6 percent that 3.6 can represent this cost of debt tax rate you can calculate here provision for income tax divided by income before tax so we have 14.7 percent then market value of debt, you can use the market value of long-term debt is the total non-current liabilities, 145,000. Or depending on the interest bearing, you can add this term debt in the short term and the commercial paper in the short term and the term debt. And depending on the discretion in the 10K, you can add this other non-current liabilities or not. It's totally depending on our year, the market research of the company. For in this case, let's just make it simple. 145, which is only the long-term debt. Now, market value common stock, you can just multiply this two. So the total market value is 2.9 trillion. Then the total market value of this, the, 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 the equity and the debt is now $3 trillion, right? Then finally, we can complete the borrowing rate of the company, weighted average cost of the capital. How to get it? Using this equation, cost of debt times one minus tax rate, because the cost of debt is the tax deductible, and the weight of debt divided by total capital plus 
Now the cost of common stock times now the market value common stock, the weight of common stock out of this total, right? Then finally we got the weighted average cost of capital of Apple. So please the practice this exercise with Apple and once you understand this process and please apply this process into your chosen company. See you in other video clips. You guys, bye-bye.